The terms haploid and diploid refer to the chromosome count within a cell. A haploid cell will have one set of chromosomes, whereas a diploid cell will have two sets of chromosomes, commonly denoted as N for haploid and 2N for diploid. So what does this exactly mean? What is a set of chromosomes? Remember we said that humans have 46 chromosomes, more commonly referred to as 23 pairs of chromosomes. This pair concept comes from the fact that all of humans' organs and tissues are made of diploid cells with two sets of chromosomes. Each set has 23 chromosomes, so together it makes 23 pairs of chromosomes. One set comes from the mother, one set comes from the father, and a pair of chromosomes will include one chromosome from the mother and the father. So like this pair, this is from the mother, this is from the father. These two chromosomes within the pair are genetically different, but they code for the same thing. A random example would be like both code for eye color, except the mother has the gene for green eyes, whereas the father chromosome has the gene for brown eyes. So the diploid cell will have two of each of the 23 types of chromosomes, two type 1 chromosomes, two type 2 chromosomes, and so on. And each type codes for the same characteristic, but different specifications of that characteristic. Hence, humans are said to have 23 pairs and not 46 separate chromosomes. A haploid cell is different. It only has one set of chromosomes, so there's only one chromosome for each chromosome type. In humans, the only haploid cells are sperm and egg cells, and each of them has its own separate set of 23 chromosomes. The concept of haploid and diploid cells comes up often in different organisms, so it's important to remember these concepts.